populists. Yeah, but the fascists are more straightforward about it. Because they basically come out and say something like, shut up or we'll beat you. Right. Whereas the compassionate types, who are narcissistic compassionate, compassionate types, they come out and say, well, we're really trying to save the world, you know, and we're, we're acting in everyone's best interest. And we think it would be better if, if you should just, you know, regulate what you say. Because if you don't, you're not, you're not a good person. And so that's, it's much more, I'd, I'd take the fascist bully over the narcissistic over the compassionate narcissist any time. They're way more straightforward. I mean, I, we're, we live again in an era where the hashtag be kind yeah, yeah. almost invariably is used by people who are the least kind people I think I've ever encountered. Yeah, in other well, words, it, people that love to be utterly vicious. Yeah, well, kindness... And yet they hide behind this fake persona of hashtag be kind. Yeah, yeah. Well, kindness is tricky, you know, because one of the things you deal with very commonly if you're a clinical psychologist apart from depression and anxiety, is, well, behavior therapists offer assertiveness training. And now, the pe people who need assertiveness training are all often people who are too agreeable, compassionate, polite, by temperament. Now, the problem with that is that they let, every other, they let people walk all over them mm -hmm. because they don't, they don't stand up enough for themselves. And the consequence of that is they get resentful, and then they get bitter, mm -hmm. and then they get conniving, and then they get and then they'll mob. And so, because they're not, they'll do anything for everyone else, but they push themselves beyond their limits. Mm. And, they, and then they won't even recognize the limits because they feel, well, if I'm not doing everything for you, then, then I'm not a good person. It's like, no, a good person does a little for you. Like if I'm acting properly with you, say in this conversation, there's something in it for you mm. and there's something in it for me, right? right? And we want that to be reciprocal mm. and so, the cost of me bending too far in your direction is that I'll become bitter and resentful and conniving. And, and that, and resentment is an unbelievably toxic state of being.